Juvie. It's been a really long time since I filmed a video. <laughs> Probably like, I think my last video was December and it's September right now. So it's basically a year. Well, the reason why I decided to make a video today is basically just so I have a distraction not to do my homework. But I mean, I also really miss making videos. I enjoy it. And I just wanted to see if I could do some more. So I recently got the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. It's literally like so colorful and beautiful. Like, I just really wanted a colorful palette because all of my palettes are just like neutrals and stuff. And it's kind of boring because I really wanted to play with color. But like, Juvia's Place palettes are amazing. I have the Nubian palette. <laughs> Yeah, I have the Nubian palette, and it's all like neutrals and fall colors, and I really love it. I played with it a lot, so I wanted to try something new, and this palette has been sold out so many times. I would get messages that it's back in stock, but then right when I go online, it's already out. Everybody wants their hands on this, and I finally got my hands on this, and it makes me so happy. I actually played with this palette already, and I have a Instagram account for just makeup, and I made like a circus kind of look and also I don't have a mic so it's not going to be a voiceover tutorial like I'm used to and so bear with me because I'm not very good with talking as you can tell I stutter a lot so they'll just try to do this and do a makeup tutorial without voiceovers so let's get to the look okay first thing I want to do is primer I have the elf poreless face primer and honestly I'm not a big fan but I'm gonna use it up because I don't wanna spend more money on another primer. I just don't really like it because it's kinda like silicone-y and I heard that's not good for your pores because like it fills them up and stuff, but I mean I don't really it doesn't it's not that bad. I mean it fills up my pores. Just now that I know that silicone's not very good for your face, probably shouldn't be using it. Yeah. So I put it mostly in like my T-zone because my pores are like craters, I swear. They're huge. Okay. And next I'm going to prime with this one. This primer I love. I like to use this. Okay, this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I should probably say the products. And I take like a little bit on my middle finger. And just like just burst it up above my fingertips. And just like put it on my like, cheekbones. Because this is a highlighting primer. And I like to use it as a base for like highlighter and stuff. Like... I've noticed when I do this, my face looks so glowy and pretty. Like, even when I take selfies, people are just like, Oh my god, your face is so glowy. Thanks, it's my primer. But yeah, I'm gonna put on like high points and stuff. Oh my gosh. It's getting everywhere. Okay, now that you're all primed up, let's go into some foundation. As everybody's favorite, the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Because... That's all I want to be in life is matte and poreless. So I just pour some on my, on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna dot it all over my face, like so. I'm gonna take this Elf foundation blurring brush. It's actually called like the Selfie Ready foundation brush. And I like to use brushes because the struggle with me with beauty sponges is that I get lazy to get up to go dampen them. So I just like go with this brush. I do have a beauty sponge and it's the Real Techniques one. I do really like it but I'm too lazy to go get up and go wet it and stuff. Yeah, this brush works really good though. I like to use it for foundations and concealer. Just use it for everything basically. Blum, blum, blum. Of course to the neck. I mean this brush isn't, it's really good. I just wish I was kind of bigger. Cause I have a big face. I especially have a big forehead. Hm. I still have like a lot of product on my hands. So I'm just gonna pick that up and put it in places that I feel like need more. Put it in your ears. So they're the same color as your face. Okay, so now I'm all foundation up. Next, I like to do concealer. Recently, I've been using other concealers. I used the Avery one and I really liked it, but it's kind of expensive. <laughs> I know, I'm really cheap. And 
lid. I also got the NYX concealer. Where is my NYX concealer? Got the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. I don't like it at all, to be honest. It doesn't really cover my pores or anything, and like the smell is very chemically. Like, I don't want to give a bad review, but I'm not a big fan. So I went back to the classic Fit Me Maybelline concealer, and I'm in the color Deep. I just start to do this thing to make triangle as per usual to highlight the under eyes. I'm just gonna say I do not wear this much makeup every day. I like honestly lately I haven't been working wearing any makeup, just eyebrows and mascara. But and just to make things clear, I'm a makeup enthusiast, not a makeup artist. Like I'm not a makeup expert at all. My only training has been purely YouTube, and I've been watching makeup tutorials probably since I was a fetus, or like since 2007 when it all started. Like Michelle Fan was the freaking OG beauty guru, and I will always remember the first video I saw from her, and it was the paper bag curls video where she made like heatless curls with her hair with paper bags. And I thought that was amazing when I was in fifth grade. I really hope you can hear me clearly because my camera's kind of far away. I had to like push my desk up so much so I can put my camera right there. But I mean, I think the angle's fine. You can see my tapestry and my little panda bear. Yeah, that's my kettle buddy. Her name's Marisol because I got her at the carnival. And Carousel, Marisol. I don't know. I don't, I don't know my thought process with those names and stuff. My sealer's blended. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my camera stopped recording the constant YouTube struggle, I know, but for the most part, I don't know where it stopped. So, oh yeah, I also got done powdering my face with the Cody Ear Spun and I just like dabbed it on. I didn't bake or anything because I don't really like baking much. This makes my face look really powdery when I bake. Like, it comes into my dry patches, even though I'm like really oily. Okay, now I'm moving to eyebrows. Well, you don't really need to see that either, so. I'm gonna stop recording, so be right back. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera because I already have a whole video dedicated to my eyebrows. So be right back. Well, these are my brows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just to let you guys know, I used the Ulta Brow Pomade in dark brown. And then I'm 100%, I'm 90% sure that this is the L'Oreal, like this thing. But all the writing came off, but it's from L'Oreal. I know that. So set my brows. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little spiel. For some reason my camera is being stupid and it keeps shutting off automatically. So I lost all the footage from like me doing my eyeshadow. So this is actually another day and I did like the same hair and stuff just to keep consistency but this is really frustrating, you know. But I'm gonna do the eyeshadow look all over again. So yeah, I'm just gonna dive finally dive into the Zubu palette by Juvia's Place. I think I'm gonna zoom in first. Okay, I finally have light. Wow. Okay, let's hope it doesn't stop recording anytime soon. First shade. Wait, actually, we need to prime my eyelid first because I didn't prime this one. I use the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the color Medium. And I really like this concealer as primer because it's really sticky and like really sticks on as a base. Makes your eyeshadow pop, you know? I originally got this concealer to cover up blemishes and stuff, and it does that pretty well. But I don't really break out all too often. And I want to take this all the way up to my brow bone because it's going to be a dramatic look because we're going to like put the eyeshadow all over our eyelids. I mean, as you can tell. I also put some on our lower lash line because I'm going to put eyeshadow there too. I'm all primed up. I'm gonna dive into the Zulu palette. First, I'm gonna take this matte pink shade with a nice, nice, a blending brush. And we're gonna, like, I don't know if you can see it here. We're just gonna put it all over her crease. Well, actually, like everywhere. Like, you're not gonna keep it just at your crease. I just start there as a guide and then I keep building up and up. So, we're gonna use a lot of pink eyeshadow. I really want to blend this 
down to. Okay, so then I'm gonna blur out the edges so it's not too harsh. It's not like fully on my brow bone, there's like a really, really like a tiny space left, but it's basically up there. Okay, kind of want more intensity. I want it to be really pink. Okay, I think that's good. And then I take this brush cleaner thing just to like wipe off my brushes because I don't have a lot of brushes to work with. I usually just say, use the same ones over and over again. So I just take the same brush and this time I'm going to go into the matte purple shade and I'm going to put this at the outer V to give it like dimension. It makes it kind of like a colorful smoky eye. And I put this like downwards too. You really want to blend into your crease and then down in your outer V. You really want to blend this in so it could blend seamlessly with the pink. Ooh, yes, I love doing this. The pink and purple blend so well together. It's all blended out. Next, I take like a dense kind of short bristled, bristled brush. And I'm gonna take some setting spray from Milani and just spray this on my brush to make it all wet. So then we're gonna go back into the palette and use this rose gold shade. It's super pretty and it's one of like the three shimmery colors in here. And use it on that brush and like put it in a naked spot where right? you haven't put any eyeshadow. Like your inner corner to your middle of your eyelid. And the setting spray like really makes it pop. As long as it's your desired metallicness, I don't know. Just gonna oh wait, yeah, this isn't the right brush. We're gonna take the blending brush and just blend it so they could go seamlessly together. Okay. Then for the lash eyeshadow. I'm gonna go with the matte yellow shade and put it on your under eye. And I use like a flat shader brush, I guess that's what they're called. And I like this brush for my under eye so I can like really blend it. Cause I don't want it to be thick. And this yellow is very pigmented. Like when you keep building, it just gets even more yellow. Okay, and next is eyeliner. First I'm going to do the three dots right here. And I don't know why I did the three dots, it just adds like more character I guess to the look. It really makes it look like a circus look. And that's why I like it. Oh no, it looks pretty cool so that's why I do it. And what I do, I just make like a bigger, like a biggish, eh, like a, I don't know, yeah like the bigger dot. Now outside and then I can make a medium dot in the middle and then go like smaller as I go. I'm feeling not that hard to do. Okay, oh yeah, and the eyeliner pen I'm using is e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen and I don't hear anything about this eyeliner pen because honestly it's really good it's very waterproof and for me that's necessary because my eyes water so easily and I think that's partly because my eyes are small so I don't know and then I'm gonna do a little wing eyeliner I don't like wearing eyeliner a whole lot that's partly because I have like a crease on my eye and so it makes it hard so what I want to do is just do a very small Okay, now I'm done with my eyeliner, and I go in and curl my lashes. Oh wait, actually, the next eyeliner I use is this nude like peach eyeliner from Wet n Wild in the color Calling Her Buff. And I just put this on my waterline to just really make my eyes look bigger. And 
I feel like I had this eyeliner for a long time because I don't use it a whole lot and it's like really long. So I'll probably have it forever. The next bit of color lashes. And get them ready to prepare for mascara. Okay, I'm gonna take my two absolutely favorite is that a word? Favorite mascaras ever. That's gonna be the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot and then the Voluminous Lash Paradise. The first one I want to go with is the Lash Paradise because it is really good for uh, separating your lashes and making them longer. And makes it look like I have a lot of lashes, even though I'm, though I don't really have a lot of lashes. Okay, and next I'm gonna use the Colossal Big Shot. And I like to use this second just to really make it even more voluminous and darker than it already is. And don't worry about it being too clumpy or crazy because I mean this eyeshadow look is not a subtle, so why should your lashes be? Okay, now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. So next, for the last few steps are gonna be the face. I wanna like bronze and contour. And what I like to use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in bronzer. It's like there's only like two shades for these bronzers, which is kind of sad, but I really like it. And I just use this angled elf brush and just to like just to define and contour my cheeks a bit. And also warm up the face. Yeah. I'm surprised this bronzer still shows up on my skin because I got in really really tan this summer and this bronzer is pretty light. And I granted it doesn't really show up well on my forehead. I don't really think it's making much of a difference. But on my cheeks it shows up. I think it's because, you know, like your face is a lot lighter than your forehead and my forehead is really dark in the summer. So I just put on my cheek. And, um, and I just stick to my jawline too. Just to give it a little shadow and make it look like I have a jawline. Here. And what I also like to do is like squeeze the brush to make it skinnier, and I like use it to contour my nose. It really makes it define, it makes my nose look kind of pointed. Okay. And next, I'm gonna go with blush. And since this is such a crazy look, I'm gonna do like a rose, rosy blush. This is the Leachy and Gold Healthy Glow Rose Gold Blush from Seraphine Botanicals. I got it in an Ipsy bag one time, and it's really good. It's like very pigmented, so I don't want to go too heavy-handed. So of course with this look, it doesn't really matter if you go heavy-handed. That's what you want. I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush. I really like this blush though. It really does make your face look glowy. I'm really starting to look like a stripper. Honestly, I wish I was in Secret Crystal Light. That'd be so cool. Okay, and then, coarse highlight. And before I do highlight, I like to set my face first so that my highlight really pops. Okay, so I use the Milani Make It Last. And I really like this setting spray. I keep like about to spray, but I'm talking. But I really like the setting spray mostly because of the nozzle, because it's just like so misty. Okay, fine, it feels so good. So, yeah. spritz dry it a bit okay and then I'm gonna go with the ColourPop double play palette it's like the blush and highlight and I'm just gonna take the highlight today and use my Real Techniques setting brush let's go into this highlight this highlight is so blinding that's why I picked it oh my gosh that went on so bad. yeah can you see this it's so good I kind of talk way too much. I mean, I mean, that's fine. I'm not trying to be subtle here. Oh my goodness. It's so natural. This is a natural everyday highlight, you know? Look at that natural glow. I like to take it to my nose and then that bridge of my nose. I really like doing it right here because whenever I see Naked Tutorials do this part, oh, it looks so good. 
think I'm going to take it to my brow bone a bit too. I like highlighting that spot. I take it like up and under my brow bone. Wow, I look wet. <laughs> yeah, I also want to take this to my inner corner. I'm going to use my finger. Oh, yes. Okay, and last but not least, lips. Today I'm just going to use this Tony Moly Panda Dream Lip Gloss. It's like a Korean product. I, I know that they have Tony Moly at Ulta, but they're kind of pricey because they're like exported and stuff. You could probably find it cheap on Amazon or something, honestly. And I think, like, this is supposed to be those kind of, like, lip glosses you just put in the middle of your lips and, like, tinted it out to, like, make it look like an ombre lip. But we're not doing that today because I like to put it all over. Oh, yes. It's very opaque, but it's so hydrating. It feels like a chapstick almost. Okay, so I think that's all. Well, this is my makeup look. Very subtle, very natural. I wear this to school for an everyday look. I'm going on a date, honestly. <laughs> but really, this makeup look would probably be perfect for like raves or music festivals. Or I mean, if you're in Cirque du Soleil and you need a makeup look, here you go. I got you. Yeah, this look, I'm living for it. Every time I put it on, I don't want to take it off. So yeah, this is all for today. If you like my makeup look, make sure to give it a like. And also, leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos. Help me, help encourage me to post more because I really like making YouTube videos. <laughs> I really like making YouTube videos. I really want to put more content for it. I want to put more content out for you guys, so I just need to like get myself to do it. Sorry if I'm struggling too much in this video. I promise I'll get better. I'll just have to keep practicing, you know? Yeah, so if you want to see more videos from me, please give it a subscribe and also check out my other videos. And yeah, thanks for watching.